Hi everyone, and welcome to another tutorial today. For this one, I'm actually going to be doing a secondary edit on an image I've already edited before. So if you haven't watched the first tutorial, you should go back and watch that right now, and I'll put a little link for it right here. Um, so I've already done a good preliminary edit to this image, and I like it the way it is. But I'm going to try a bit more of a shiny, kind of bright um, pin-up look. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of brightening the skin a little bit more and kind of pumping out the reds so that they're still pretty strong. So to do that I'm going to go up and start with image adjustments and go down to selective color. Now I can do this one of two ways right now. Um, I can start by going in and reducing the reds and yellows first or pumping the reds and yellows in. So I'm going to have to do both effects because I'm wanting to affect different parts of the image with uh, either a reduction of the reds and yellows or a brightening of the reds and yellows. So again, um, if you're not used to my tutorials, I don't usually do the layer system when I'm doing my tutorials and I only do that when working on client work. So um, if you like to use layers and adjustment layers and adjustment effects, go ahead and open up your layers bar and get started with that before doing all these effects. Most of the effects will be available through um, adjustment layers and effects. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start by darkening the reds. Just a little bit, just to give them a little pump. So started here and we're just adding a little more red into particularly the lips, hair, and this piece of ribbon right here. I'm going to go into yellows and I'm actually not going to affect those right now. So after having affected my reds by adding a little bit of blacks to the reds down here, I'm going to say OK. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do control plus to zoom in, actually a little less, so control minus. And what I'm going to start with is up here on my history bar, I'm going to make sure that the history is set to the way the image used to look, and it is. So now I have to go through and selectively get rid of the extra reds I just added into the image. So what I'm going to do is over here on my toolbar, knowing that this is set to the first, the primary image, this history brush tool. I'm going to go select the history brush over here. And I'm going to use my bracket tools right beneath the plus or minus key to make my tool a lot larger. I'm going to go ahead and remove any extra reds we added from the beach. I want to make sure I'm not actually hitting the ribbon too much. I want to leave those mostly brightened. I'm also going to go in now, making this smaller, and brush around the legs. And now I'm actually going to go over the legs and just remove any excess red I added. It's okay to go over the shoes in this shot as well, unless the shoes are red. I'm going to very carefully remove it from the hand. Try not to get that ribbon. And in case I didn't go over this. Now I don't really have to be worry about being too precise in this shot because the reds are mostly contained to the skin and beach. There's not really any red up in the hills or the sky or ocean. So now I'm going to zoom in more because we're kind of focusing on the face area now. I'm going to very carefully reduce the reds on the skin. I'm not going to do it to the hair, the eyes, the eyebrows, 
or the lips though because I actually want to leave the red in there. Oops, lost my history brush. There we go. So very carefully going through just reducing the reds where I don't want them and leaving them in the rest of the area. So now I'm going to zoom out using control minus back to our original image and I'm going to just quickly go and look from the start. So as you can see it's very subtle. I'm not sure if you actually can see it on the um, video but the reds are slightly enhanced in the lips, hair, and this ribbon but mostly in the lips and the ribbon. Now I'm going to go back up to image adjustments and then selective color again and I'm gonna go ahead and adjust skin tones now one thing I need to make clear is this may or may not work on darker skin tones um, because as you get a darker skin tint you often get more reds and more yellows in the skin prefer especially more reds and when you start to bleach those out of an even slightly darker skin tone than this it can look a little funky and make the person look a little bleached or sick so this isn't exactly a method that should be used on all models so now with the reds I'm going to slightly reduce them let's see from there to there I'm going to go ahead into the yellows as well and down here again at the blacks I'm going to reduce those a little bit as well kind of gives it that super bright look so it went from there to this now I'm going to say OK and now what I want to do is I want to bring the beach colors back in and I want to bring the red tones we added back in and then leave the skin tones alone so that the model will look a little brighter in the image so actually I'm going to go up here and select my history brush again but now we need to reset where our history brush is located on the history bar here so since this is a beginning image we're not really using that anymore what we need to do is go down here to the very last his history brush um, movement right before this last selective color. This way we're only affecting the color shifts that we've done in this last selective color. So I'm going to use my bracket tools again to make my brush larger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and comb everything around the model. So I'm going to start actually a lot larger and just quickly brush in the beach again and that ribbon get as much of it as I can quickly with the bigger brush and now I'm going to make it smaller Oops. go in a little closer I'm going to zoom in using the control plus tool and get pretty darn close without going over the skin too much just going to quickly brush back in the beach tone around the foot there we go I'm actually going to go over the shoe again 
just in case it lost anything. Careful. I'm going to go over this shoe too quickly. Alright, now I'm going to go up here, and because I'm not sure if I got the ribbon, I'm just going to quickly brush over that, avoiding the skin. And then I'm, I'm going to make my brush smaller and brush over the hair. I'm going to bring back in the reds and yellows in the hair. Again, like I said, if you have a darker skin model, you probably don't want to do this unless you're meaning to bleach them out, because it will. It will be a very rapid effect. So now I'm going to zoom in on the face so that I can do work on the eyes, eyebrows, and the lips. So I'm just going to quickly use the history brush to brush back in that darker color on the lips. Okay. Here. And just a quick retouch over those eyebrows. All right, so now I'm going to minus out, and here's what our image looks like now. So if you don't remember what it began with, we started kind of here, and what you can, as you can tell, all we really affected in this image is the model herself, to kind of brighten her up, make her a little bit more present. Again, we'll go back from there to here. What that does is it just kind of gives it that almost sterile, crisp, bright lighting in an image when your model wouldn't necessarily have it. Thank you for watching, and that is the end of this tutorial again. I like the way both images look. I like this. It's very lively and um, more real life, and this effect is kind of more commercial brightness. So I hope you enjoy, and if you like this tutorial, like, subscribe, favorite, share with your friends. Just thank you for watching.